Uh, just, just because it was just the, for Game & Chills especially, it was just that. It was just, you know, you play a game for an hour and see if you make or break it. You know, that's how the Game & Chills are gonna, I, that's how I make them are. And I think that's a kind of a better format for them. Just make them, you know, one hour short bursts. Showing what a game is, and blah, blah, blah. it allows me to play the one-off game that doesn't really have a kind of a playthrough, let's play format to it. It allows me to jump into games I would never have played before. And I think I found some pretty unique games for like multiplayer nights. Though so, granted, some of the games I found on the Game and Chill nowadays is uh, kind of they're kind of dead games at this point. But somehow people are excited about it, especially Kirby's uh, Ultimate uh, Gourmet Race game, the Dream Buffet game. That that video got has gotten uh, is almost is almost to 3,000 views at this point. And I'm actually quite shocked of why. I was like, I'm wondering, no, what did I do in that video <laughs> that got people's interest in? Like, it feel like Kirby's, you know, Dream Buffet didn't really catch on. It was just this kind of, you know, racing game where this kind of Fall Guys, especially game and everything. And it's like, yeah, it's kind of a cool little game, but and everything. But this, okay, back to the game here to get this green star. You have to Mega Man yourself up here by doing wall jump after wall jump. There we go. Come on, Luigi. Oh. Yeah, because the green star is on the top of this bridge, so you can't knock it down or you're not getting access to it. It also, this this stage also kind of shows my kind of disdain for these green stars, because it feels like the, the developers didn't know what to do with this stage. They're putting green stars in. And also the fact this is not a 2D area, means you're prone to hitting the bridge when spin jumping here. And also the fact that, like that, it just cancels my wall jumping animation. Like, why? I'm also hitting that cursed wall, which I don't want to hit the wall for. I want to get up top here. There we go. And now we have to get up here. Oof. Ooh, boy. Ah! Oh, don't you dare do that! No, Luigi, no! No, 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 no! You don't do that, Luigi. Luigi? I tell you, I'm saying my own name in third person for some reason. There we go. Star number one collected here. And the other two stars are right next to each other, which kind of uh, gives me the feeling of why, you know, why even have these green stars? You know, I, I've been questioning that for a little bit on this playthrough. I was like, I know they wanted to add more ideas to the mix, and I guess you could kind of say Mario Odyssey was kind of the kind of the birth child of this, in a way, because in your know, Odyssey you can collect the stars whenever you want, you know, in short bursts. But this feels like kind of like that kind of feature where you are plopped into a world and you collect a different objective than the objective you were initially going for. And like that's not a bad idea, all things considered, really. I mean. Like, if you really want to have, uh, you know, more replayability, you know, add more stars to the mix or make the, make the worlds bigger, you know? You know, I wouldn't mind seeing if a, if a world was actually, you know... Like, kind of, this kind of makes you feel like, you know, like, Crash 4's, you know, you know, inverted stages, you know? Like, the, when that game came out, you know, you collect these alternate berries and whatnot, which is supposed to... It makes the world in a different art style or something like that, or a different gimmick. And you have to complete the stage, you know, in a, in a difficult setting. I was thinking, why couldn't, like, something like that deal with Mario? And you get the... And you get Mario Wonder from this. All right, so this next star, you don't do bowling. Nope, you, you basically take the walk of shame and get the star that way. Yep, pretty darn easy, all things considered. Going back to the Wonder Tangent, though, and everything, but I would think that if you're going after the green stars, maybe they should have added, you know, like, a green tint to everything or something like that. Like, something, because they kind of, like, Lubba as well as, well, at least Lubba tells you about it, where it's like, now look what you've done it. Now there's green jewels everywhere. It's like, what did we do 
that causes green stars to appear. Are the green stars evil? Are we trying to do this so that the world, the universe is not corrupted by, by a green energy power? I don't know, it's like, it's never really explained what the green stars initially represent. Like, like, you know, you know, the, it's just Rosalina says that, oh yeah, these are the power, this is the story of the green stars. And then Love is like, oh crap, look, you got green stars to collect now, look what you've done. And it's like, what did we do to deserve this? <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> like, it just, is there like, you know, could there like, could there be lore, you know, behind the green stars? Because after this game, you know, we got Super Mario 3 World got its own version of the green star that you had to collect everywhere. But that just gets me thinking. What do these green stars do? Are they are they a unique power source that can help help the world or hinder the world? Like I could imagine these green stars being something like you know, like something Bowser would make. You know, he just took the green he took he took the power stars, used his Bowser reactor to make more of them. You know, copy green. These are just inferior power stars. You know, that would be the thing I. I would say that'd be kind of the cool concept behind the idea. And that means that we get you Bowser, you have to fight for real because of how the Green Stars work. But that's only my theory, though. Like, these power, these green jewels are something that Bowser created to copy more Power Stars because he wanted more power. I'd say it's not a bad idea for a, for a Mario, for an initial storyline, because there's no story to this. There's no story to these green stars whatsoever. You know, there's nothing to them. They're like, yeah, they're just green stars planted here and nowhere. Anyway, talking about green stars, let's talk about this stage. So, who's ready to have some fun with Yoshi for these? Yeah. High tail false galaxy? Who's ready to have Yoshi fly out of the middle of nowhere and basically take uh, alternate paths that you're not meant to take. Alright, so the first green star of this stage is right on top of that tower. And you have to get there using the path that you wouldn't take initially. Now, if you go up to the top of the tower, initially, there'll be, there's nothing remarkable. There's just a, a, a penguin character up there that's just, you know, oh, I'm just here looking over the waterfall. And there's a one-up mushroom there. Which gets the fact that, they, you know, that there's something out there that a green star is going to appear with a green star next to it. You know? That's again the whole concept of one ups being near where green stars are going to spawn. That's just me though. So we need to go up here and we need to grab this way and go up the left side. This is a little tricky to pull off. Because it's a little hard because if you get bumped off, it is basically death for you. It might take me a few tries here. Yeah? did take me a few tries last time I was here. Like, you have to make a unique jump. You have to make a neat, uh, turn here. Let's go on the second one and get a better shot at this. Why ah, no! Yoshi! We need to stop! Uh, Yoshi's knocking, him, knocking himself out to stop him from being moving too fast. Nah! No! Yoshi! Don't you dare! Okay, good. Yeah, this is a little tricky to pull off, but we can shoot this. It is a doable. Just gotta be a little more quick on the nerve here. There we go. You have to grab this one here, or Yoshi will not have enough power to get up here. There's a one up right here with a little. Oh, Yoshi, need to stop running. Okay, good. Your scale has brought you very far. Point of view, is it not? From here, it's clear how important every coin truly is. Huh. It's too bad they have no value. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, that one was easy. How do you get the other two, you may ask? Well, that one deals with one that's kind of awkward and one that makes you feel like you have to dismount from Yoshi in order to get. Very tedious, they are. Let's go. And we have to fly away in this one. Let's go get him. All right, here we go. 
Prankster Comet again. Green Star number two. All right, I'm just checking my time here. Making sure we're not too ahead or too far behind. All right, let's go. Grab some of the nice, tasty star bits along the way. Hey, right, Goomba, you're down in the dumps. Well, you're gonna die in a <laughs> you're gonna die in a in a black hole, apparently. There we go. All right, it's time to fly. Or at least not. Ho I hope Yoshi doesn't fly so high, because that was kind of a that was kind of scary for the most of the last time I was here. <laughs> Or I somehow made a death-defying jump off of a wall, and then Yoshi went very, very far high into the sky for some reason. I have no idea how he was able to do that, but... Now let's go! So this one's gonna be on top of that purple corner over there. That one's a little tricky to pull off, because you just have to, like, I think you just have to walk up it with Yoshi's power, and I think he just latches onto the top, and that's it. And it's easy to dismount from him and just go get the star. Cause I had a really a hard time for this one for some reason. It just feels like it was just so awkward to get to. And the last one, just you have to use Yoshi's tongue to get up higher. Alright, let's do this. Now for your main event. Ooh. There we go. Alright, here's the main event on this one. Let's go get it. We have to get on top of this corner here, and hope for the best we don't die. And jump, Yoshi! Oh, dang it! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna die! I made it up there in one try, and I was off by a, a little plane of existence on that one. Oh! <laughs> I was doing, that was gonna be so perfect! Okay, now I know what the problem was. Now I can get up there with ease. Get up there once again and hope the best that Yoshi can just, you know, turn the direction. No! Here we go, Yoshi. Come on, Luigi, get up up there. Yes, okay. No, you. Why can I don't wall jump? Why can't I not spin? Was I not supposed to be on there? With? I'm supposed to be up there with Yoshi? In order to get it? It's a little kind of pain in the backside if that's the case. I don't recall that being a pain. So I was able to walk on it just fine, as you saw. But I couldn't do a uh, spin off of it. That's a little awkward, to say the least. Oh, Yoshi! One hit, Luigi! Oh, come on, Luigi! Ah! <laughs> I told you this was going to be the feature presentation. <laughs> this one gave me trouble last time I was here. And it was probably for the worst case scenario because I was actually kind of dumbfounded how to get off of Yoshi. But now I know how to get off of Yoshi, this shouldn't be a problem. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, Yoshi, get up on there. There we go. See, the fact is you just can't figure out which plane of existence you're on. There we go! Third or fourth times to try, I guess. Huzzah! Yeah. That was rough. <laughs> that was rough. But now it's time for that third one. Let's go get it as well. We're off, Lubba! Do the third star with us. This time we have to get up there and use some... Get some tongue action, I guess you could say, with some flowers to get us up there. So let's do this bad boy. Let's go. Green star, number three. All right. Now... I wish there were times where they could actually, you know, just teleport you back to a previous checkpoint so you don't have to do the stage all over again. Nope, not in this game. This wouldn't be odd, you know, Odyssey wouldn't come around to 2017. 
this was in 2010. Like, this is during the time where Nintendo was, I guess, being a little cautious, I guess you want to call it that, for, for, you know, good, you know, quality of life updates, I guess you could say. Anyway. Because, man, there's probably a, someone's probably have already modded this game to the point where they can just, you know, grab a power star and then start from the last checkpoint they were at. Well, that'd be kind of a nice feature. Why is that not so bad feature now? Well, that's what, you know, Mario, that's what Mario Wonder is all about. Wonder is just, you know, bite-sized levels. Well, you could really say Mar Mario Wonder is basically Mario Galaxy 3, because you have to grab the flagpole at the end of the stage instead of a power star, but you do collect the, you know, the Wonder Seeds as particular uh, collectibles, I guess, at the end of it all. You know, I'll get to Wonder one day. And that, you know, that kind of brings me to another question, and everyone, I'm pretty sure everyone's talking about it, or some or another. It's like, why do I not play games on release date? You know, you get a lot of traction, you know, the, the channel would grow and everything. Yeah, that's true. But take into account of a small channel versus a very big channel with, you know, with insight of how it works and everything, and they have more subscribers than me, but it's like, my channel would mostly get eaten alive with, uh, with trying to cover new games in the process. Just because everyone else is doing it. Oh boy, there you go, Yoshi, get on that, go Yoshi! No, Yoshi! Oh, I was on my tangent. No, Yoshi, I can't live with this. Oh no, I'm dead! <laughs> oh, man. I saved myself last time I was there, but... No, but... The bigger, the bigger channels, the bigger YouTube channels always have, like, they always have the time to record themselves playing the game day one, you know, do the, do the open, open box stuff and everything. I don't have the time for that myself, because usually where I work or what I have to do for ROL, you know, I have a, I have a real world job, and that actually coincides with me basically putting that on top than anything else in my life. Come on, Yoshi, grab those, grab that thing. And jump off! There you go. That's our third star. Nicely done! Oof. Now we're on to Fluzzard. That's, uh, that galaxy is now complete. We're halfway done through World 2. And another one up to boot. Definitely gonna be using these coins for something. All right, so yeah, let's go after this one. This one's gonna take me a while because I, I know where the second star is, but I don't fully remember where the first one is. This is gonna be tricky on my end, so let's hope I don't die to this. Going in is almost slightly blind. Oh, there it is. I think that no, that's a that's a that's a star bit. That's not a green star. I'm thinking of the other stage where the first green star is right at the beginning of the stage. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. Let's fly. Hey! I want to fly with you! Wanna fly? Sure. I don't need to tell me. Time to fly! Time to fly! We win! We're not gonna win! I want green stars, not this. So we don't have to go through any of the rings, I don't think. You just have to get the green star... Go in different spots where you might think the green star might be. So just keep a keep a watchful eye of where a green star could potentially be. Because again, the green stars are going to be in different spots than you would think on a stage. So you want to keep your kind of like an idea open of where a green star could potentially be. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, so that means that the next one is in, very at the very end, on to the right. So we're going to get that one now. It's kind of weird you don't see that, like, kind of, like, weird loading screen. They just, Louis just stands there, like, dumbfounded, like, what am I supposed to do now? I got the green star, right? Oh, I want to have some more, eh? Let's go. 
You know, this one, I think, is at the very end of the stage, and you have to go to the far right. At the very end of the place. So that's going to be a fun one. At least, okay, so the intro does show you technically where the green star is first. You just have to look down. <laughs> All right, let's tie up. Don't need to glide. Don't need to learn how to glide. I'm here to basically to, uh... I'm here to fly with Fluzzard. Time to fly. Let's go. I have to go fly. To the this one might take me a couple of tries. So I'm going to slam myself into a wall eventually at some point or another. Let's go. Such a calming music track, too. Again, Mario Galaxy soundtrack is phenomenal. It's just that we don't get the second one. We only got the first one on the 3D All Stars pack, which in turn is now in the midst of uh, in the midst of time now. Who knows? Maybe on the Switch 2, if it ever comes out, we'll get the Mario Galaxy 2 re uh, remake. You know, of chipper visuals and all that such. Oh yeah. But man, the Mario Galaxy 2 soundtrack is probably not as good as number with Mario 1's, but but Galaxy 1's soundtrack was you know made with some passion. This one doesn't feel like it has that much passion to it. Well, there is still some good tracks, but most of them are more um, kind of you know atmospheric. They're just basically the the nice, calm, gentle tunes. You know? They're just they're just calm and collected. I need to be up high for this. Need to go far to the right here. Got it. And a good thing that hitbox is bigger. Oh, 